Hi folks, it's Shannon Heaton and this is the 2021 edition of the Tune of the Month, the series in which I take a different tune each month and I break it down phrase by phrase so you can get it in your ear and in your heart before you try it on your instruments. For this year, for each tune I present, the following month I'll give you something that can go along with it to give you a bit of context. So let's get to work with this month's tune. Hi, Hatao. Thank you for playing the Rose and the Heather with me. You ready? One, two, one. <laughs> The Rose and the Heather was one of my favorite tunes. It's a lovely jig in D, and it starts on this nice F sharp roll, F sharp cut tap. And oftentimes it starts like this. <laughs> So that second phrase, da 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 e e da 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 da. There are two e's in a row. The second e is like a pickup note into the F sharp. I heard Tommy Peoples do it this way once. So instead of a b d e e f, he played a b d e a f. Very nice. So sometimes that's all it takes, just one note that kind of uh, puts the whole tune in a new perspective that really gives it a new sweetness. So here's how I played the tune. I'll do it phrase by phrase, and then I'll give you just enough time to sing a phrase back. That's a great way to learn a tune. Get it in your ear, then it's easy to get it on your instrument. One, two. <laughs> Again. Same as the first phrase, but there's a breath. That last phrase could also go. Pick which one you like. Second part of the tune, B part. One, two. Da 
So really, learn to sing it before you learn to play it. And then you do all the mental work, um, get it all in your head, and then the finger stuff, the monkey business, will be easy. Okay, what do you say we play the tune from last month, Behind the Bush in the Garden, with this month's Rose and the Heather? One, two, one. <laughs> 